Hey, this is Andrew Brown, AWS Community Hero, and we're looking at the fast guide to the Mission to Mars Hackathon. So before we get into it, let's describe what a hackathon is. So a hackathon is an organized, friendly competition where persons or team compete to build uh, a software or hardware project. The project may require to fit into a specific theme and meet certain technical rules, and hackathons generally are judged on completion, and prizes may be awarded such as physical, digital, or even money. So what is the AWS Mission to Mars Hackathon? It's a six-month hackathon officially organized by AWS that utilizes AWS Cloud Services, where persons or a team can compete in the following categories. And the following categories are machine learning, artificial intelligence, and robotics, which spe spells out Mars, with the exception of S. Well, we'll assume that the S is for serverless. And the competition starts on August 10th and ends on January 8th. So now let's look at some of the uh, eligibility requirements to see how you can enter into this hackathon. And the first thing is team members must be 13 years or older. And if you are under the age of 18, you can participate with a participation agreement form, which happens just to be the uh, rules form where you sign it at the bottom, you send it into AWS. Uh, participants can only compete in a single category and on a single team or by themselves. That's just to be fair. AWS employees, government employees, Mars hackathon judges, mentors are not permitted to compete, which again is fair. If your country is under sanctions or US embargo, you're not gonna be able to compete. Uh, Quebec never seems to be able to compete because of their local, local laws. Brazil is not able to, but check the full list to see, but generally it's open globally to everybody. Uh, if any of your team members does not uh, meet the eligibility uh, criteria, then the whole team will be disqualified. So make sure that your entire team is allowed to uh, compete. For submissions, all code must be written during the hackathon start and end date, so no previous projects, so make sure you submit them before the last day. Only one submission per team. Teams can be in, uh, an individual or up to th uh, three team members. Winning team may be subject to code review or compliance checks just to make sure everything is fair. Your team must uh, compete or complete your submission before January 8th. Uh, and for the first round, teams must record a three-minute demo, upload it to YouTube or, or Vimeo. The first and second place winner of each category will, will move on to round two, and that is the Mars Accelerator, which we'll talk about in a later slide here. Uh, but teams must record a new seven-minute demo uploaded to YouTube and Vimeo and, and, and uh, participate in the 12-week accelerator. And uh, for the round two, judges will have three minutes to ask questions via teleconferencing. And these aren't your run-of-the-mill judges. These are high-profile like like high profile executives at AWS. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to, uh, to be able to uh, present in front of them. And one of the six finalists will be, uh, be chosen to win the grand prize. AWS will have non-exclusive license to your project to use, which makes sense for marketing and et cetera, uh, but you own the rights to your project. They want you to succeed, okay? And the grand prize here is 20,000 USD in cash and 50,000 USD in AWS credits to bring your product to market. So the judging criteria, um, there's gonna be different judges per category and they're gonna award 40 points based on the following criteria. So first is use of technology. Uh, this is uh, how well you use uh, AWS services um, and does it actually make sense for your solution? Social impact, so to what degree did the team create a solution that has a net positive effect on a community? and the well-being of individual and families. Inclusivity, have a hard time saying that word, but uh, the solution built with the intention of including people who might otherwise be excluded or mar marginalized, such as those who are handicapped, learning disabled, racial or sexual minorities, scalability, how well does it scale, design, uh, UX and UI. And judges uh, may also consider elements such as feasibility, functionality, or other similar attributes that make the submission ideal for acceleration when determining the winners. That sounds like bonus points to me. And now let's check out the three categories starting with machine learning. So what is machine learning? It is a subset of ML that uses statistical methods. I like to say that's just math and programming because that's what it is to enable computer machines to learn. And so to utilize machine learning, you're going to have to do the following. You're going to need to gather data, use to train the machine, prepare the data, choose a model, which is just choosing an algorithm, uh, train the model, um, uh, evaluate the outcome, hyper-tuning, and and then you get your prediction in the end. And that's the whole scope of machine learning. And the category rules are as follows. You need to use one or more of the following ML services. So we have SageMaker Studio Notebooks, Ground, uh, Ground Truth, Experiments, Debugger, uh, Model Monitor, uh, and Autopilot. So SageMaker has a bunch of sub uh, subservices underneath. So you just have to use two of those. And the round one prizes are uh, 9,000 uh, 9, USD dollars and 2,500 AWS credits. Second prize is 3,000 and uh, uh, 
2,500, and the next is 2,000, the next is uh, 1,000. So let's just talk a bit about the machine learning services so you have an idea where to go from here. So Amazon SageMaker is a fully managed service to build, train, and deploy machine learning models at scale, and it allows you to use open source frameworks such as M MXNet, uh, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. And then you have sub uh, subsets or subservices under uh, SageMaker, such as GroundTruth. So this is a data labeling service. So they have humans that label a data set that will be used to train the machine learning models. You have augmented AI. This is where you have human intervention. So if SageMaker's prediction is not confident, you can pass it on to a person in your queue, and they'll mark it. It'll go back to SageMaker, and it will get smarter uh, that way. Uh, then you have autopilot. So this automatically trains, tunes uh, machine learning models uh, for you. This is also known as AutoML. This is a great place to start if you don't know how to use um, SageMaker. And then you have Jupyter Notebooks. Absolutely, you need to know what these are and you need to use them. It's an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code equations, visualizations, and narrative text, commonly used in ML. Uh, and so uh, there is SageMaker Studio Notebooks, which is the hosted version of Jupyter Notebooks. Moving on to artificial intelligence, let's define what that is. So AI is when computers perform tasks that would normally uh, require a certain level of human intelligence. And you're wondering, well, what's the difference from that and ML? Well, AI uh, can be using ML or deep learning underneath. So there's, it's just, it's kind of a layer on top of ML. But the way I want you to think about it is AI is really just um, you leveraging mach uh, machine learning without having to actually code the ML models. So there's just a service and you use it. You just interact with the API and it works. You don't have to worry about fine tuning and doing all that those steps we saw in uh, the last slide there. So category rules is use one or more AI services. Anibus has a lot of them. Uh, and to use Amazon Code Guru to review your code before submission and to use uh, Anibus Lambda to run your application code. So bonus requirements is to use uh, one of the five um, verticals. So uh, a contact center, enterprise search, personalization, document analysis, or fraud detection. And for round one prizes, uh, it's 9,500 uh, 9, USD and 2,500 AWS credits. And it's the same as before, 6,500 uh, 6, uh, USD, 2,500 AWS credits, $3,000 and $1,000. And now let's take a look at the AI services. And there are a lot here. So the first is Amazon uh, Code Guru. This is a machine learning code analysis service. Code Guru performs code reviews uh, and will suggest changes to improve the quality of your code. It can visualize code profiles, show the internals of your code to pinpoint performance. Then you have Amazon Lex. This is for building voice and text chatbots. You have Personalize. This is for real-time recommendations. The same technology that powers Amazon uh, Shopping. So when you see recommendations there, it's using this technology. We have Poly, which is text to search. We have Recognition, which is image and video recognition service. So it can detect objects uh, within images and videos. We have transcribe, so that's speech to text. We have uh, text extract, which is OCR, so it just takes text out of a document. Uh, you have translate, so this is neural machine learning translation service, so use deep learning models to deliver more accurate and natural sounding uh, translations. Then you have Comprehend, this is NLP. Uh, so this finds relationships between words so that you can uh, do thing, uh, make intelligent predictions or, or decisions based on text. Uh, forecast, this is a time series uh, forecasting uh, service. You have a machine learning enabled uh, musical keyboard, which is Deep Composer. I'm not sure if that would make a good use case for um, a project. Same thing with Deep Lens, it's a video camera that uses deep learning, those are kind of toys. Um, I don't know why I have Elastic and Ferns in here, but that I just have it in the list. <laughs> uh, fraud Detector, so this is a fully managed fraud detection service. Uh, Kendra, this is Enterprise Machine Learning Search Engine Service. So there you go, there's a lot of AI services, so it's up to you to glue them, to, glue them together to make an interesting project. Onto our last category here, we have Robotics Category, so let's define what robotics are. So robotics is the study of robots, robots are pro programmable machines that can perform in-person human tasks, and the category rules is to use AWS RoboMaker to create uh, any cloud-enabled robot prototype simulation using ROS uh, and Gazebo. So uh, the the round uh, the prizes here for round one are a little bit less, but it's it's still pretty good. So five thousand plus uh, uh, USD plus two thousand five hundred uh, USD AWS credits, and the second is the same amount. Um, and you need to use AWS RoboMaker. So what is that? It's a service that makes it easy to create robotics applications at scale by extending the ROS framework with cloud services, running simulations, and fleet management. And so just to show you Ross and Gazebo, Ross is the robot operating system. It's an open source set of software libraries and tools that help you build robot, robot, uh, robotic applications. You can go to ross.org for that. And then you have Gazebo, and this is an open source S3 robotics simulator. 
Um, so there you go. Let's go to Virtual Accelerator. So this is the round two. If you make it a round two, you get, in, you get to be in the Mars Accelerator. And so the top uh, two teams, ML, AI, Robotics, will win uh, 2,500 USD uh, and 5,000 USD enabled credits. Clearly, they, they vary if you get first place in those other, other categories uh, and a spot in the Mars Accelerator. That's if you get to round two. And the Mars Accelerator is a virtual 12-week program which will aim to support, mentor, and guide each of the teams through custom curriculum to bring uh, uh, to, to turn your hack hackathon project or prototype into a fully-fledged startup. So I imagine that it would give you access to AWS, uh, um, uh, AWS um, uh, Solution Architect startups, and they're really, really smart. So that would be a really great thing to get into. Now, if you're wondering uh, how you can actually uh, talk and find other members, there is a Slack group for Mars. If you've never heard of Slack, it's a channel-based messaging platform with Slack. People can work together, share files, and more. It's just like Discord, or you can think of it like an instant messenger. And I wanted to point this out because it wasn't as obvious to find it, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the website, there's a link that says join the mission to Mars to Slack. And what you can do here is find uh, more information about rules, get mentored. I'll probably be hanging out in the Slack here, ask questions, find team members. And so they have a bunch of categories here, okay? Now, if you want to uh, register, you're gonna have to do the following. You have to register with your email and password. You're gonna have to fill out a profile with some information. You're gonna have to, uh, it says configure, but it's to confirm your email. And then you join or create a project. So once you've actually made it into, um, you've signed up, uh, you, you're you going to want to join or create a project. And a project basically is a team. So you'll need to go to the projects tab and submit or uh, submit or sorry, add a project there. And actually, when you add a project, you can actually say who you're looking for. So here's a project where they've put open role saying, hey, we're looking for we need just an expert, right? So if you are looking for people, you can say exactly what you're looking for. And uh, once you create your project, it's going to be in a list, and you can actually attach a video to uh, your project. I assume this is actually how you submit it. So you uh, you create it here, but you can see that you can vote on projects, uh, comment on them, see the details about them, uh, join them, or request to join them, and then have the actual video. So that's what you're going to be wanting to do. Now, to get some additional resources to help you learn, uh, they actually have webinars within the actual website here after you sign up. So once registered, uh, you can access uh, webinars related to ML, AI, robotics, and Amplify. We'll talk about Amplify shortly here. But here you can see they have a list of videos. Um, and if we look at the first one here, we can see that uh, there's the video. And you could, you could attend this in real time. And if you do, you can chat and ask questions. If not, in real time, you'll be able to see a, a recording here and find all the information you want. If you're looking for somebody cool to follow, I recommend f uh, following Allie because uh, you know she's the developer advocate for robotics here, and you'll definitely see her a lot in this uh, hackathon, okay? Now, if you need to actually ask uh, questions, uh, there are mentors that are part of uh, the uh, Mission to Mars, and I might be one myself if I decide I have the time. But the idea is that you're able to uh, book one-on-one -on -one meetings with mentors. So you'd go here and click book a meeting. You'd pick who you'd want to book with, and then uh, you could choose a time, and it would allocate 25 minutes, uh, whatever time slot they can uh, they can allocate for you. So that's a great way to get support through the program. You can also just go to the Slack and ask questions, and anybody will help you. Uh, then the uh, last thing I want to touch on is AWS Amplify uh, because this is a great way to getting started. If you, don't, if, like, if you don't know how to build web applications or you find AWS intimidating, AWS Amplify simplifies everything. So what is AWS Amplify? It's a set of tools and also a serverless web and, uh, and mobile application framework designed for rapid development. Amplify has the ability to bolt on various cloud services with, with ease, including AI and ML services. And uh, what confuses people about uh, Amplify is that it's not a single thing. It's, it's multiple products. So the first one is the Amplify CLI, which makes it easy to create the AWS backends by uh, by configuring and setting the infrastructure for you. So it can set up uh, authentication, the databases, analytics, uh, the storage for you. It can also uh, set up uh, some AI services. So if you really, really don't know what you're doing, use Amplify and you'll be able to use those AI services very easily. Then there's the AWS Amplify JS library. This makes it easy for you to interact with AWS services within your JavaScript framework. And then to deploy your application, there's the AWS Amplify console. And this makes it easy for you to set up static hosting, the CI CD pipeline. Those are a big pain to set up. And you can just use it with whatever web framework you want. So there you go. That is my fast track um, uh, to the Mars uh, hackathon and uh, good luck and I, I hope to see you in the Slack uh, and your projects.